I'd like to welcome everyone for our virtual parent and student athlete meeting for winter sports. And we begin everything as uh, normal with prayer. So if we may pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We have a proclamation from Matthew's Gospel. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, an expert in the law, asked him, Teacher, which commandment of the law is the greatest? And he said to them, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength. And the second is like it, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There's no other law greater than these. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And we pray. Dear Lord, as we come before you in this school year, we're aware of your loving grace and your loving presence. We ask you to watch over the Aurora Central Catholic School community. Our students, our faculty, our families, and our friends and benefactors. We pray that by the things that we do and say that we may indeed embrace your law of love of God and love of neighbor, and that by our actions that we may share your hope, your joy, and your peace with all who we meet. For we ask this through Christ, who is Lord forever and upward. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As we, we gather for this virtual meeting at the beginning of winter sports, we're aware that this is uh, an unusual school year. We, we successfully completed the fall athletic season, and I would like to congratulate all of our fall athletes, all of our fall coaches, and I'd like to congratulate our parents for all of their support and all of their sacrifice that makes athletics at Aurora Central Catholic and the programs at Aurora Central Catholic possible. So thank you and congratulations to all. Normally at the end of an athletic season, we have uh, an athletic mass and awards brunch. And unfortunately this year with rules related to the COVID uh, and steps to mitigate the spread of this pandemic in our area and in our school community, it's not possible to have uh, an athletic mass and uh, fall sports awards brunch. So this year, what we will be doing is that on November 2nd, on Monday, we will be gathering for an all school mass for our school community that will be live streamed with some of our student athletes here in the gym, a few, and our choir and readers and people helping out with mass, and the, the mass being live streamed to the building, but also to our parents and to friends and community members. And at the end of that mass on November 2nd, that will begin at about 8.10, at the end of that Mass, we will honor our fall sports athletes and recognize them as we would normally recognize them with a fall sports award Mass and brunch. So it's our attempt to try to recognize our athletes, to congratulate our athletes and our coaches, and to really to thank uh, all for participation in our athletic program here at Warren Central Catholic. So I would invite you to look to the link on our website and that will be sent out to families for access to this mass on November 2nd uh, to honor our athletes. Uh, the mass will be a mass for the Feast of All Souls. We will, we will be praying for deceased relatives and friends who've gone before us uh, as a result of it. The other piece is as we begin a winter athletic season, we recognize that our athletic season is going to be a different season than it has been in the past uh, because of rules uh, directed by the state and given to the Illinois High School Sporting Association with regard to 
crowds, athletes, participation in sports, not all of those things uh, are understood at this time. Mr. Biederman will be going through a number of those pieces with you, and I appreciate his help and that of the athletic department here at school to try to make sense out of a, 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 out of a difficult and challenging situation. So I, I thank Mr. Biederman in advance for his work, and I thank the winter sports uh, coaches and all of our winter sports athletes for their participation in, in our season. Uh, at this point, I, I, I thank you all, and I invite you to continue to do all that you can to help us here at school to mitigate the spread, to minimize the spread of COVID in our community and in our, in our school as well. So thank you all very, very much. Thank you for joining us for this virtual sports meeting for parents and for winter sport athletes. Go Chargers. Is that perfect? Thank you, Father, and, and we appreciate your support as well as we do from all of our parents, our students, our athletes, our community members. Uh, we're truly all in this together. Um, I want to uh, reiterate uh, what Father mentioned and congratulate uh, at this time our fall sports athletes, our coaches, our parents, and anybody that took part in any of these activities throughout the fall. It was a challenge, but we successfully got through it safely and our student athletes, you know, really impressed on the field, off the field, and in the community, and did a wonderful job working their way through a difficult situation. Those challenges, as we know, continue with us as a society as we move into the winter sports season. We wish we could do this in person. We wish that, you know, we could, you know, turn forward the clock and, and start, you know, start over and, and, and enjoy sports the way we used to know them. But we, we understand that we're in difficult times and we're going to adapt as we always do and to make the best out of difficult situations. We're here in our recently renovated gym that, that was renovated over the summer. Uh, it is beautiful, it is, it is in great shape, and it is ready for many games, practices, and activities moving forward. As Father mentioned, our virtual fall sports awards will take place on November 2nd after Mass. At that time, we're going to, we are going to honor our athletes, our coaches, and all, all, all those that took place, all, all those that helped us through those seasons. Uh, we will virtually uh, go through the awards. We will have some of our athletes present for the ceremony, but we are unable to have all of our athletes in one place at one time. So during the course of the school day, we will also distribute athletic awards to all students that participated this past fall. Winter sports are scheduled to begin on November 16th. This is a slight change to the IHSA calendar that was put out before the summer. The original start date for girls basketball was supposed to be November 2nd and the original start dates for wrestling, cheer, dance, and boys basketball was to be November 9th. With the shifting of the IHSA calendar as we've seen throughout the entire fall sports season, all sports for winter sports will begin on November 16th. Practice times and game times will be posted to our website as we get closer. We will also, if there are any changes to this calendar, do another short video and distribute it to our parents to get you the most recent information that we have on hand. We apologize for any inconvenience that, that this may cause any families but we are, we are going off of the guidelines that we are receiving from the Illinois High School Association, who is receiving those guidelines from the Illinois Department of Health. And those, as we know, are subject to change. As of now, we are preparing to begin our seasons on November 16th with cheer, dance, boys basketball, girls basketball, and our wrestling programs. To prepare for, for the season, there are a couple different items that we need our athletes and our parents to take care of. The first is to make sure that each athlete has an updated sports physical. An updated sports physical is 13 months from the previous physical. If you have any questions of whether your son or daughter has an updated physical or when it may expire, you can contact me at school at 
907-0095, extension 107, and I will, I will check that for you. If you still have to get a sports physical, I would recommend scheduling that uh, in the near future. Okay, appointments at uh, Walgreens, CVS, and the doctor's offices have been difficult to get. So please get in as soon as you can. You must have an updated sports physical to be able to be in practice on the 16th. Additionally, there are two different ways in which you can sign up for the upcoming sports season. The first way and the most common way is through our active sports network system, where you can find links to that off our main school website page at aurorascentral.com or off of our 8 to 18 athletic page. You can register there or re-register if you've been in a previous sport this year or any calendar season before where we were using active. The second way to register for a sports season is you can do paper forms as well. And we have those available on our athletic website and our school website, but we can also print those for you in the main office. So we need to make sure that we're registered for a season before you may begin to participate. Now in the event of changes to an athletic season, we have the ability to modify a fee, refund a fee, if necessary, based on information moving forward. Okay? So if you have concern about making a payment for a sport before the sport begins, let me alleviate that as we will make it right as we move through the season if there's any changes to the season. Open gyms have been taking place in, in many of our winter sports and also our fall sports and our spring sports. I encourage all of our athletes as we go into the winter sports season to make sure they're having open dialogue with their coaches regarding when open gyms will begin, as many are beginning before the November 16th deadline. And if you have any questions specifically about when an open gym is taking place, please feel free to reach out to me in the main office as well. What will a day look like at practice? What will a day look like in a game? We're still waiting on some of those details. Uh, so what I can give you right now is the basic guidelines of how we went through the fall sports season and how we go through a daily experience here at school. First, to start off, I, I'm asking, and our parents did a tremendous job with this, and they've done a tremendous job with this throughout the school year, is if your son or daughter is not feeling well, please do not have them come to school. We are doing temperature checks and symptom checks daily during the school, the school day. Uh, we're estimating probably about 800 temperature checks a day because we are testing students various times and multiple times during the school day. On top of that, we are sanitizing our facility, cleaning our facility on a daily basis. This carryovers and continues into our athletic program. The Illinois High School Association, through the Illinois Department of Health, has given us basic cleaning guidelines that ACC has gone and gone far beyond what the basic requirements are. So when a student athlete enters practice, they can expect for a couple different things. They will be temperature checked before every practice. Uh, they will be asked some basic health questions about how they're feeling that day. They will use hand sanitizer and they will be going through practice with these, these precautions in place. Now, currently, in the Illinois, through the Illinois Department of Health, all athletes indoors and all participants indoors, including coaches, including staff members, must wear a mask. This may be subject to change, and I understand the apprehension of wearing a mask during indoor athletic activities. We are waiting for guidance that we will follow from the Illinois Department of Health through the Illinois High School Association. Please feel free to reach out to us regarding any questions or concerns that you may have regarding this. We share your concerns, but we look forward to working with our student athletes and giving them an experience they can remember this winter of playing with their teams and being around their coaches and their classmates. I want to also allow our parents to understand too that we have a relationship with Athletico as our training service. Athletico will have a staff member here on a regular basis that will be assisting with uh, the preparations of practices, the preparations of games, keeping students healthy, encouraging students to make good choices, and assisting in the cleaning of the facilities as well as the medical checks. I will also have that contact information as our representative athletic for the winter season will be assigned in the near future. 
I also want to mention that we have a relationship with the Fox Valley Orthopedic Group through Dr. Sostak, that in the event of any kind of injury during the sports season, parents and students have the ability to contact the Fox Valley Group through our athletic training service to get therapy or any, court, any kind of doctor's information that they may need. In addition, we, would, we run concussion checks and concussion protocols at ACC on a, on a daily basis. All students, as they begin the winter sports season, whether it's their freshman year or their junior year, will, be, will go through impact testing. And that impact testing will provide a baseline in the event, an unfortunate event if somebody suffers a concussion, that will be able to work with our trainers, our parents, our athletes, and the doctor that is treating the concussion if it happens. The only person that is able to clear an athlete back to practice, back to games, is a doctor when a concussion has occurred. And we, we encourage parent involvement and dialogue in this process as it's part of our school plan, as, long, as well as the doctor, the trainer, the athlete, the teachers, the guidance counselors that are all involved. When a student athlete suffers a concussion, it is not just an athletic measure. Our school plan also implements academic accommodations that may be in place at a doctor's request. Our teachers are notified on a case-by-case -case basis based on their students, as well as protecting medical information. So if you have any questions regarding our concussion policy, please. And as you can see, we're, at, we're on a half day here, so our bells may go off every once in a while. Getting in touch with a coach. As we start our season, contact information will be distributed. So if, you're, if your coach is a teacher at ACC, emailing them or contacting them on the phone is the best way to reach out. Contacting an out of the building coach, email is the best way to reach out. And our coaches will make their email available to all parents for contacts. In the event that an out of the building coach needs to be reached, I ask you please to reach out through email first. They will respond within 24 hours or to our main athletic office. We, we don't want communication going back and forth on people's personal cell phones. We ask for our coaches and our parents and our student athletes to have that privacy. Eligibility. We will do weekly academic eligibility checks every Thursday. If a student, has, student athlete has more than one F, they will be academically ineligible to compete for a seven day period beginning the following week. The athlete may practice, but they will be ineligible to compete at that time on the court in a game or in any sport that they're doing until their grades have improved the following Thursday. We will proactively contact parents, contact students regarding this and work to make sure that students understand that we're putting academics first and that athletics are secondary to that. Where where do we go as November 16th starts? We, we go as we're guided by the health department and the IHSA. Our game schedules may adapt and they may change. Our procedures may adapt and may change, just as we've seen in school and in society. I really want at this time to commend our parents and our students for being so good about following, at times, difficult rules and, and, and doing a great job of adapting and being civil with one another. We don't know at this time whether or not, as our games are scheduled, whether or not what our capacity in our gym will be for fans or if we'll be allowed to have fans. Anticipating this, uh, Father Etheridge and, and I have installed through the NFHS network live streaming capability of indoor sports in our gym as well as outdoor sports in our football stadium. We will get information to our parents about how to subscribe to the NFHS network with, a, with a, either a monthly membership or a yearly membership. We will distribute the uh, NFHS materials to our student athletes, as well as send them an email links home to the parents. If you subscribe to the NFHS network, you may also see the Chargers play at home and also on the road. All of our schools in the Metro Suburban Conference are equipped with streaming devices 
so that you can watch if you're not able to attend or if you don't feel comfortable attending or you have a, a sibling or a grandpa or a grandma that wants to watch the game, we're, we have that service available. This service will also be available moving forward for school events, school masses, uh, clubs, activity, choir, drama. We want to make sure that if you can't be here, we get to bring it home to you so that you're comfortable and you get to experience your son or daughter's events here at ACC. As we, as we get ready to start on November 16th, I want to remind our athletes and our parents to vigilantly, vigilantly look at social media to make good choices, to understand that as an athlete, you represent our program publicly so that you make those decisions, understanding that you not only affect yourself as an athlete, but also your entire team. We also, as, as we've seen through the Illinois Department of Health, the guidance to avoid large public gatherings. Please understand that all of our decisions affect others and that we're all in this together. We are incredibly excited to get started here on the 16th. Open gyms are going. We are ready to go. We are just awaiting word. I greatly appreciate your support, and I look forward to athletic events and school activities taking place indoors and outdoors as we move forward. Thank you so much, and have a great night.